Here today, basically, we're, we've invited in um, persons from three villages. I think it's San Marcos, San Felipe, San Antonio, and Santa Elena. And they're coming in, um, bringing whatever documents they have. They're sitting down and talking with our representatives. We have a representative from Nationality and Passport, and we have our IOM team, and we have some volunteers from Red Cross that we've trained. And they're assisting us basically in just looking at the documents that people have seeing what they qualify for under the Belize laws, whether it be for permanent residence or for nationality or just a basic immigration status at this point in time. What we're finding right now is a lot of people are qualified under the regularization policies to be living in Belize. That would be a person who might be living here for the last 25 years, married to a Belizean and they have several Belizean children. That person is eligible to stay here legally. And so they don't know how to go through that process. They don't have the documentation. What we're doing is we're explaining to them how you go through that process. We're going to be assisting them with documentation. In, in, in respect to the IOM, we will actually be paying for their passports. If they don't have a birth certificate from, let's say for example, the majority of the persons here from Guatemala, so we'd help them to get their Guatemalan cedula or their birth certificate in order to apply for a passport. And from there, we um, assist them in getting the proper paperwork done so that they can submit those documents to immigration to get their status properly documented, give them an opportunity to live a normal life here in Belize. For those who couldn't make it today, is this process or program will be available throughout the year or is there a deadline for this um, process or project? No, there is no deadline. Um, the information, if any migrant or any person who think they qualify, will want to walk into the immigration office here in Punta Gorda. The office there can share that information with them, can advise them on what to do. People are generally afraid of going to an immigration office, so they may not want to do that. We have uh, what we call a migrant hub in Bella Vista. It could assist people in the Toledo district. We can get the information for the address for the migrant hub. It's in Bella Vista and it's run by Humana People for People. So they can contact them and they in turn can um, help people, give them the guidance that they need.